everybody, Banjo Paul coming at you here on this beautiful Labor Day in the United States. Hello to all my fans and friends, no matter where you are. If you're overseas or up in Canada, which I call America Light, Labor Day probably doesn't mean much to you, but here in the States we celebrate this as a day free from labor. Figure that one out. Uh, it's a holiday, as you uh, Europeans like to say, we're on holiday today. So, I'm um, giving you a little field report coming at you from the car for this first part of the video, as you can tell. Here in the States, texting while we drive is illegal, so I'm sure that uh, videoing yourself while you drive is highly illegal, but uh, here we are. Um, I'm heading over to my friend and major student uh, Tim's house. You might remember Tim from the video blog report I did where Tim, uh, Tim and I went to buy a new banjo. And so now Tim has put together a Labor Day jam session and cookout. So we got four banjo players all mostly at the beginning level who knows what you call me but uh, I've been playing a few years so I'm not quite a beginner but uh, three beginners and me whatever that means and we're gonna see how Tim's life has changed after the purchase of a five thousand almost six thousand dollar banjo that you saw in the last uh, video report that I did uh, and by the way look somewhere near this video here in this blog post and you can see the link to that story of uh, Tim buying his banjo so without further ado we're gonna head for Tim's house and uh, we'll uh, just say let the fun begin so okay so I've arrived at Tim's house <laughs> Tim and his uh, lovely wife Ellen's house and we're making our greetings and saying hello and uh, uh, waiting on someone else to arrive here and Ellen has just announced that she's now playing an instrument Yes. And I said what's that and when she got it out I had to get the video camera here so here we go this is Ellen and this is her stump fiddle. This is the stump <laughs> oh my fiddle. goodness. So explain this now. What do we got here? Well, it has a bicycle bell. It has a bell bell. Okay. It has a horn. Okay. It has these pans with shaker things in it. Wow. And it has a wood lock to it. And on the back here, it has jingle bells. Wow. So, okay. Yep. There we go. <laughs> yeah, and her stump fiddle. Tim? What can I say? Okay, you, you know. <laughs> okay, so we've eaten, we had a great meal, and we're all stuffed to the gills and feeling like we want a nap. But we got the banjos out, we're gonna try our hand at doing a little uh, beginner level banjo jamming with the stump fiddle! So, Woohoo! The crowd goes wild. Um, I mentioned in my intro that this was a follow up to your banjo shopping experience, and we wondered how the. Uh, Almost six thousand dollar banjo was changing your life for the better or for the worse. It's you... Changed it for the better. Okay. For the yeah. better. I love my banjo. All right. I, uh, about a month ago, I took my beginner banjo up north with me, uh -huh. and um, now I know why I have a nicer banjo. <laughs> now, I yeah. couldn't believe the sound difference. I could not believe the sound difference. So uh -huh. very happy. And that was the Stelling Virginian, which I'm zooming yes. in on the headstock now. Pretty headstock. Nice uh, girly inlay work. That's just perfect for you, Tim. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. He's a very secure man. <laughs> hey, I, I not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I have had enough to have a banjo with hearts, flowers, and birds. Turn the, turn the resonator sideways so she can see the turquoise. Oh, wow. I don't think I noticed like that before. It's like mother of pearl and turquoise inlay. Oh, yeah. Along with it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So we have Kathy tying off. And we have... Lori, Keller. Yep. So let's hear some picking, guys. Why don't you start? Why don't you start? Watch Kathy. We'll, we'll play it real quick. Watch Kathy. Do the backup. We'll, we'll do it real close. Ready? Here we go. I'm just going to start out with the slide. Okay. You're going to start out with the slide? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. 
He followed you right into your little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That just kills me. <laughs> With her bell solo, that's good. <laughs> So we've been picking a while together, and uh, we've had dinner, and our tummies are full. And but here's uh, the lovely Ellen, who's going to be my camera assistant, and uh, we're going to tape me and Tim doing Wildwood Flower, a little little double banjo thing. Get this on tape. So all right, Wildwood Flower. Whoa, it's cushy. <laughs> <laughs> it's cushy. Ready? Splice this so it looks like that never happened. Okay. <laughs> I'll edit this down. I'm well aware of your editing capabilities. <laughs> you made me sound good at all. <laughs> that was a lot of work, too. I, know, I like... won't splice that up. A lot of it ended up in the cutting room. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. Found out I was taping and she panicked. No, no. Oh. He's pointing that thing at me. Yes. Scary thing. Probably you're playing Wildwood Flower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've been having some Labor Day fun here, and uh, it's been a day filled with banjos and cooking out and food and the whole shot. So, thanks to uh, Tim and Ellen for the hospitality and having us over. Say goodbye. And there's Tim. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sh he seems to be the subject of my videos, so I'm sure I'll have Tim on again. And of course, Kathy is always right there in the background. Say goodbye, Kathy. Goodbye, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> so, happy Labor Day to everybody. Banjo Paul out. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.